Good evening, as we carry on with our um, electrical um, studies, we want to take a look at circuits. This video is meant to be used in conjunction with a um, small electrical um, kind of DC electric study kit that I use in my classroom that involves some 9 volt batteries and um, a couple of small trailer lights. And so you'll see me referring to those supplies throughout the video. To review where we've come from, um, we know that amperage is a measurement of the strength of the electrical current that is flowing. Um, we know that voltage is the pressure from the electrical circuit's power source that pushes electrons through um, this conducting loop, which we call a circuit. And so the amount of work that can be done as a result of this when the voltage is applied to the amps we refer to as watts. You're going to be creating circuits today, and a circuit is basically a controlled path for electricity to flow. It begins at a source. Um, in a home, that's usually a breaker. In our case today, that's going to be a 9-volt battery, and it travels to the consumer um, in this situation, and in many situations, that will be the light, and then goes back to the source. Um, in most circuits, or especially in learning kits, um, we use the colored wire to go to the consumer, um, and sometimes a white wire to come back, or a black wire. Um, we need to know the basic concept that a circuit is circular, and so unless the circuit is complete, those devices won't work. Um, when we work on this in a, a large scale, particularly in a house situation, there will also then be breakers and switches. You will have the opportunity to use a switch in your circuits today. There are two basic types of circuits. There's a parallel circuit and a series circuit. Um, you will make both with your materials today, and we're going to keep them pretty basic, but know that um, the concept really can be applied at any level. So we'll start with the parallel circuit. A parallel circuit is a circuit that has more than one way that the electricity can flow. And this is probably the most um, common type, type of circuit. Um, it definitely makes the most sense in many situations. You can see through the diagram on the screen that um, you need a power source. In this case, you're going to use a 9-volt battery. You actually have two or three of them in the kit and you're going to connect them together so that you have more voltage. Uh, that's necessary because of the requirements of the lights you're using. When you do that, um, you'll see that the batteries can snap together pretty easily. It, it kind of makes sense when you play with it, um, but it's usually the positive of one battery hooking into the negative of another battery. So you put your batteries together. You're going to run um, a wire from the positive terminal into the switch and then a, a separate wire will come out of the switch. Um, you have little chunks of wire with alligator clips on them because we want to be able to move them around and play with them basically and make lots of different circuits. So when you bring that wire out of the switch you can hook two different wires onto it and have one go to each light you then have them come back together um, and go um, through a ground and then um, back to the battery. So we have a few different elements than that diagram shows, but I think you'll be able to um, connect that okay. The big deal is that you check and make sure you actually made a parallel circuit instead of a series circuit, which we'll study next. The best way to um, tell if you have a parallel circuit is within those lights. And so if you disconnect one of the lights, either side of the wires, and the other light stays on, then you truly do have a parallel circuit. If you disconnect one light, and the other light also goes off, then you've accidentally made a series circuit. So um, before you move on in the slideshow, I'd actually recommend that you pause it 
and go ahead and try to build one with your kit um, just by following this diagram. <clears throat> now that you've built a parallel circuit, you're also going to build a series circuit. Um, a series circuit is a little bit simpler and is actually not as commonly used because that simplicity also um, makes it less useful in some ways. Um, the basis here is there's only one pathway for the electricity to follow. And so those devices that are put in the circuit have to flow through each other. And so the electricity must throw th flow through one light to get to the other light to get to the next light. Um, we usually don't use these a lot in home circuitry, but they are sometimes used um, in DC electricity in vehicles. <coughs> One of the examples of common series circuits actually is sometimes Christmas lights. In some strings of Christmas lights, if one battery burns out or gets broken, the whole string of lights after it may quit. And that's because it's wired in a series circuit. In your series circuit today, you're going to use the same kit you just used. You'll start with your same battery source, hooking several 9 volt batteries together and going through the switch. Um, obviously, it, when you're checking your circuit, make sure the switch works. Um, you'll then run the wire through one light and then through the other light and then back into the battery. We would recommend that you also ground this. Um, a couple notes when you're working on these, it, um, you're welcome to work, or, you know, in, in different places around the shop, but I would encourage you to stay on the wooden top tables. Um, sometimes your circuitry can be kind of um, altered if you're working on those large metal tables in the back of the shop because they act as a ground even if you didn't do the ground correctly. So at this point, pause the video and take just a minute and create a series circuit. You'll be able to check this circuit because if you disconnect the wire between those two lights, um, they will not work. One light will affect the other. <clears throat> I also recommend that you take some time and add series and parallel circuits to your notes. Um, it, one of the practicum based tasks you'll have on a quiz in this unit is actually to, um, demonstrate a series and a parallel circuit. So we want to make sure that you have something to refer to. When you are working um, with the, these little um, DC light kits, there's a couple things I want to point out to you. Um, you're basically kind of trying to create some circuits and make the trailer lights come on, or mock trailer lights, if you will. Um, these are very safe kits, and so I would encourage you to kind of try different things um, and, and think through where the electricity is going while you're doing it. <coughs> There's a couple basic things that will help you think through electricity. One is that it always travels in a circuit. And the second is that electricity, uh, much like teenagers, follow the path of least resistance. So when what you're creating when you create a circuit is the least resistant path for the electricity to flow in. Um, if you are having some trouble getting your making your circuit work, some things you might check are um, do you have a wire that is not connected? Or obviously you'll see that we made these little um, alligator clipped wires. So sometimes those solders go bad. Maybe those, maybe one of those needs fixed. Um, you also want to make sure that there's not a short to your ground. And so the, the copper wire is covered by plastic. Plastic is going to be an insulator to protect that, but that plastic has been stripped down on either end to make the connections. And so if one of those is touching steel, it will cause problems. And then we also want to watch for high resistance and make sure there's not too much heat or corrosion that will cause you problems. 
ultimately at the end, by the end of the hour, you should reflect on a few things. Um, what kind of circuits did you make and can you describe them and can you draw them? What did you learn about electricity from that? And how can you apply this? Um, how could you find a problem in a circuit? One of the coolest things you can do for your brain to continue exploring this is actually create a good circuit and then have maybe work with a partner, create a circuit, have the partner turn around and you actually mess the circuit up. Um, maybe mix up your, um, your positive and your negative or do something to make the circuit not work and then have them troubleshoot it and fix it. Those are skills that you'll actually use a lot in both um, vehicle maintenance, um, drone maintenance, um, and potentially on into housing wiring. Hope you enjoy your labs today. And don't forget to um, go to our YouTube channel and like and subscribe. And have a great day.